Hello guys, today we're going to be doing a video on how to get the face key in the first part of the face dungeon. As you can see at the beginning of this video, I added a map for you guys to see where to go to the ancient ruins so that you can get the face key. Once you get there, you're going to have to fight the Arbol's Knight that's going to be on the first room. The only way that you can beat this guy is either with arrows, that is the only thing that causes damage to his armor, or if you break the armor charging your sword and then hitting him. He jumps several times, right? And every time he jumps that or stumps the floor, it causes you to be sluggish and slow. So try to avoid that by jumping. Uh, and once he gets back to the floor, try to break his armor several times up until he beats him. After that, he's gonna be dropping the face key. Yeah, so you got the face key. And the next step would, of course, be for you to go to the face shrine. But if you go to the back, to the room in the back, then you will be seeing like a painting, like old kind of, I don't know, carved thing on the wall and it kind of tells you like a story about the island you're at human monster sea sky a scene on the lid of the sleeper's eye hmm wonder what that means though awake the dreamer and coholent will vanish much like a bubble on a needle awake the dreamer cast away you should know the truth. What illusion? To me, it seems like if they're trying to tell you that this is all like a dream Link is having, so that he should realize that if he wakes up, then dream will be over and everything will disappear. But oh well, now uh, we gotta go to the face shrine so that we can actually use the face key with Scott. Like always, here comes the owl to tell you where should you go next. But he also tells you something about what you just read inside. That you won't be able to find out if this is a dream until you awaken. So it kind of gives you a little hint that it may or may not be true what you just read or what you're thinking of. Uh, but you still have to wake the windfish. Now, off to the face shrine we go, and this is located a little bit north of Canalet Castle, so you gotta make your way there, like in the map. Now, here, you gotta move the statues where that little fungus or whatever flying <laughs> thing that is, in order for you to get to the other side where the shrine is. You know, you get close to them, throw your boomerang, and that's it. Kill this guy? That's really annoying, or you could just go through it, whichever you prefer. Here, I'm gonna catch this fairy just because, as you know, it heals you. She's stubborn, she doesn't want to be catched. Look at her flying around. <laughs> oh my god! Forget it. It's total fail here. Now, let's go in. Now, watch out with these piranhas here that they bite and they're very annoying. Having a hard time killing this one here, but boomerang saved my life. Then you gotta use your hook shot to go to the other side by going through this rock. And go upstairs, then upstairs again. Then you can see the little place where you put the key in the right. Yes, it's weird face statue. This is where the key goes. Ta-da! Now the shrine comes up. And you're able to go in. You just gotta go around again, up the stairs, and there you go. Here is much much easier for you if you go left not right as I did the first time and here you gotta kill these guys now to do so sword is useless as you can see here in this fast forward part I put I 
spent a lot of time trying to kill him with my sword. But eventually I find out, like, okay, you know what? Let me try to boomerang, and uh, that actually works. So, you gotta hit him twice in order for them to disappear. And once you do, the door up to the right will be opening for you. You also kill this warm thingy with the boomerang. And then you just gotta go north to the left. And you'll find this room with the little shy guy here. Which you also kill with your boomerang. Now, the crystals, you already know that they switch things on the floor. So you'll really go switching them as you need throughout this whole dungeon. Now, to open this door here, you can see that the jar at the very top left corner has like a button underneath. So you go lift it and ta-da, door is open. I have some things where I just open doors and not go through. Leave them open as you can see. But eventually, you know, you have to go through them as you go. Here, you're still unable to talk to the owl. Of course, you have not found a stone beak. So you gotta continue. Let me go back and switch the crystal like I told you earlier. But hey! Of course I forgot that you have to step on the switches before you actually click the crystal. So it is useful for you to use arrows, boomerang, whatever it is that you need to hit it from far distance so that you can get there. Okay, there we go. Oh, the I totally forgot the boomerang totally picks up things for you that are far too. So if you see a rupee from far away or if you see like a bomb or whatever thing that you need to get, then of course you could just use your boomerang to get it closer to you and then they will receive that. Now kill this guy's here. They're beating me up as you can see. Just gotta find specific spots where I could just hit him both. And then you have your first chest. Which contains the map for you. Ta-da! Okay, great. Now you have the map. You can continue. Now if you go right in this chest here that you see, you'll find a stone beak. Yay! So now you can actually talk to the owl statues that you find throughout your way. You're still super weak to push these little statues here, so let's go back. In this part, you have to lower those blue tiles that you see there so that you can actually get the jars and break the wall with them. Now we go back, go lower, pick one up, throw it to the door. And ta-da, it's open. Hmm. Here, of course, we have to go to the right because you have no other way, right? Get this chest, which will give you the compass. Yay! And here you have the crystal that you need to switch in order to be able to go through the next room to your left. But if you go around, I love it when he runs, he's so funny, like he's tap dancing or something. You also have to switch it here to that room that we just saw. Okay, then go back. More bombs, yay. Throw your boomerang. Go back running. <laughs> then makes this funny noise when you run. I love it. Now, throw your boomerang in this thing. Of course, you already know that it works for the magicians or wizards or whatever they are. Think twice. There you go. And there you go. A key. Grab that, grab the rupee, go back to the very beginning. <laughs> oh my god, don't you love him? He's so cute. Silly me. Let's go. Now, 
you're able to kill this little boss in here, they give you berries, which I'm gonna try to catch this time. Yay! I got it! And let's get this guy back. If not, he's for sure gonna get me. It's also the course a different level floor and can't heal up. I'm trying to see if there's anything else, but no, not really. So let's go. Let's see. I could already break the door. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, great. Pick this up. Nah, it doesn't fit through here. Let's go right. And it disappears. So, no, let's go back. Okay, I've messed up again. Have to push the red tile or orange tile down, whatever that color is. Say whatever I want. Well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Okay, let me see. Not this way, we've already been here. There's nothing else. So, let's get back. Yeah, here I actually figure out eventually, right, that I have to pick up those jars in order for me to be able to open this door up. You have to pick up the elephants, but I'm not ready yet because I still don't have the power bracelet that lets me carry them. I still have the weak one. I'm still super weak, so. Eventually, I remember, like, hey, you know what, there was a door to the right when I first started this dungeon. And I try to go back, but it took me a while, to be honest. Y'all can just avoid the hassle and go straight up, please do so. Here again, totally forgot I have to like switch a crystal, but I have to be stepping on those orange tiles in order for me to go the other way. Or just throw an arrow, you know, save it. You're gonna click on the crystal once you're stepping in the orange tile towards then go. You don't need to do that, honestly. I just did it because I. Whatever, guys, okay? So I went through the door that I initially exploded with the bomb, remember? Then kill those little guys here, sit on the light. And after you beat the little monsters here, to your right, you'll see a stairs. Let's go! Now, this is it for today's video. I had to like slice it in two, guys, because it's super long. So, please watch the second part to see the rest of the dungeon. And thank you so much for watching.